Hi again class 2. So we're going to carry on with our work on tunnels, turrets and towers and find out a little bit more about castles. Castles. To find out about the features of castles now. There were three different types of castle. The first castles were built nearly a thousand years ago. These were the different types of castles. There was a mott and bailey. The mott was a raised bit of land which had a fort on it and then the bailey was the lower part where lots of the busyness of the castle would happen in there. And then we've got a stone keep castle. The stone keep was the most important part of the castle and then around the edge of that was a wall for protection and then this was a courtyard where lots of things would go on, lots of selling, lots of meetings and then we have concentric castles. Concentric castles have two main thick walls. So we've got one wall in the middle and then another wall around the edge. And then they've got lots of towers and turrets surrounding the edges of the walls. These are some of the features of a castle. So from this castle, we can see that many castles have towers, turrets, drawbridges, a portcullis, we'll find out about that soon. A moat, this is a really big deep moat by the looks of it. And most castles had thick walls. So this is the keep of a castle. This is the biggest tower. Let's find out a little bit more about the keep. <clears throat> the castle's keep was easy to find because it's normally the largest building in the middle of the castle. It was built on the highest ground. Why do you think that was? I think it was maybe on the highest ground so that the people that were in the keep and at the top of the keep could see people from really far away and they'd be able to shoot their arrows and their cannons really far distance, probably had the best protection with it being higher up. Lots of exciting things happen inside the castle keep. The rooms were in there for the most important people. There were halls in there. So that was the, the busiest, most important part of a castle life. The towers in a castle protect the castle from any missiles. So missiles are objects being thrown at them. So they protect them from cannons, from bricks, from boulders, from arrows. Really important job. This is called the curtain wall. So the curtain wall is the wall around the outside of a castle and they're really thick walls. On top of many castles, you'll see this shape that goes up and down like this. And these are called crenellations. Sometimes people call them battlements and they were built around the top of a castle to protect it. These gaps here were spaces to shoot arrows through. So the archers would sit on here and then shoot through these gaps in the crenellations. Then at the top of the castle, we've got the rampart, which is a high protective wall around the castle. The moat. We've got a picture of the moats hiding under here, look. Moats are ditches filled with water that surround the castle. The moat was filled with dirty water. It was very unpleasant. And here it says not all castles had moats, so only some castle had moats, not all of them. Something really gross was often found in the water in moats. Can you guess what it might be? Some of you might be right. All the sewage from the castle was put into the moat. So that's all the wee and the poo. That's disgusting. No wonder people didn't want to go inside a moat. These are the arrow slits of the castle. This was a narrow slit and the archers would sit on here and fire the arrows through the narrow slit. Because it was such a narrow slit, they were protected so people couldn't get to them and it was unlikely that they would be hit by another arrow. So this was a really good place for people to attack using their arrows. And that's called an arrow slit. A drawbridge, a lot. I bet a lot of you have heard of drawbridges with castles. So the drawbridge is often made of wood and it would be lowered down to let people in. So the drawbridge can go up and down and 
it goes across the moat sometimes but not all of the time and people can cross over into the castle you can see that's a really big drawbridge there is they need really strong chains to lift it up and down the portcullis was a heavy grid this part here towards the entrance of a castle. Sometimes it's after the drawbridge. So it was a heavy grid of iron or wood that was lifted up and down to let people in. But it also kept people out of the castle. It helped to stop people getting into the castle if they were trying to attack it. Can you find the different parts of the castle? Let's have a look on here and see if we can find some of the different parts of a castle that we've just been talking about. So I've got a label here that's for towers. Can anybody spot any towers on the castle? Mm, so I could put it there. That's a tower. And this is a tower. I've got another tower here. I'm going to put it on this one. So the towers were to stop missiles getting into the castle. The castle keep. Remember, the castle keep was the largest tower in the castle. Where do you think we should put this label? Have a little think, see if you can tell somebody that's next to you. The largest tower. There it is. All the important things happened in the keep. The wall. Can we see a wall around the castle? They often have thick walls around the castle. Yep, there it is all the way around the outside of the castle. The portcullis. Let's remind ourselves, the portcullis, a grid of iron that could be lifted up or down. So often it was made out of iron, sometimes it was made out of wood. There it is, the portcullis. I'm going to put it just here. The drawbridge. Aha! The drawbridge is often next to the portcullis. There's the drawbridge. Look, ready to lift up and down the drawbridge. Now the moat. Can anybody remember what was in the moat? Ugh, it's disgusting. It was filled with dirty water around the outside of the castle. Disgusting. The arrow slits. So the arrow slits were a narrow space to shoot arrows from. I can see lots of arrow slits. Can you see any over here? Maybe I can see some here. I can see some here. I can see some here. But the arrow slits just there. Right, can anybody think what's their last thing that we haven't done on our castle? Let's have a look. <gasps> crenellations. So the crenellations are the gaps around the edge of the castle for the firing of arrows. I'm going to put it just here near these crenellations at this side of the castle. Fabulous. I wonder if you can do this on your own now. Ooh, so we've got the parts of the castle again. Can you remember what they are? I point to this one. What's this part of the castle called? You got it. It's the keep. Well done. This part of the castle around the edge. Can we get it? Brilliant. The thick wall. These bumpy up and down bits. That's a long word. Can anybody remember? Oh, I've taken the wrong one off. That's the bumpy bit. What was that one? The crenellations. I gave one away. I've guessed, I've shown you this one already. Can you guess it? The moat. Well done. And then we've got these little narrow gaps in the towers. What were they called? The arrow slit. Well done. This part here lifts up and down to let people in and out of the castle. What was it called? The drawbridge, well done. And then we've got the grid that lifts on up and down to let people in and out of the castle. Starts with a por portcullis, well done. And then finally, we've got this bit here. It's a tower, well done. So there are lots of towers in the castle. Great work, class two. So your first job is to label the picture of a castle. I've sent a castle picture to your grown-ups and then you can label the different parts of the castle. See if you can remember them all. If you can't, you can have another look at the video to help you. Fabulous. If you want to pause the video while you label, the, label it, then that's great. Or you can come back to this later. I'm going to go into our next job now. 
next job. I'm going to write some sentences about the parts of a castle. So I've written my first sentence here. It says, the castle had a moat. Now, this sentence is okay, but I think we can make it much better by adding a conjunction. A conjunction are those words like and, so, but, if, or, and because. They add more information by adding extras to their sentence. Talk to your grown-up. Think you can think of a better sentence using one of those words. So, the, mo the castle had a moat and... The castle had a moat, so can you use but, if, or, or because? A little bit of thinking time. So talk to somebody next to you or a grown-up. Can you make this sentence even better? Great work. I thought of one. The castle had a moat so that people couldn't reach the castle very easily. Or, the castle had a moat because they needed somewhere to put all of the dirty, disgusting sewage and people didn't want to go through the sewage to get to the castle. I bet you've got some really good sentences. Well done, class two. We could also use adjectives to improve our sentences. This is one that I've done. The castle had a large, dirty moat. So, the adjectives give us a bit more information about the moat. It's large and it's dirty. We could use both adjectives and conjunctions in our sentence. Let's have a look at this example here. A deep, dirty moat surrounded the castle, so it was protected from an attack. Great work, we've really improved our sentence. Your turn. Now I want you to improve this sentence. Remember to try and add some adjectives and some conjunctions. This is the sentence. The poor colours stopped people getting in. Can you use and, but, if, because, so, to try and make your sentence more interesting? Can you describe the poor colours? Let's see how we can make it better. If you're at school, tell the person your new sentence. If you're at home, have a think with your grown-up. Fantastic. I'm going to have a go at writing my new sentence with you. So, the how can I describe the portcullis? What did we say about it? The heavy heavy portcullis. It was really heavy. The heavy portcullis stopped people getting in, but it could be lifted up for invited guests. Let's have a look. The heavy portcullis stopped people getting in, but it could be lifted up for invited guests. Getting into where? Maybe I could add a bit more information for that, for getting into the castle. Into the castle. The heavy portcullis stopped people getting into the castle, but it could be lifted up for invited guests. That's a lot more information in that sentence. Can you write some sentences about the parts of a castle? Send them to me on Dojo if you can. Great work.